Hey folks, Marcus here from the Ashland Fly Shop. And we wanted to do a little overview of Pro Sport Fisher um, and the two materials that we carry from them and kind of how all those parts fit together. Um, so we just got done tying a couple tube flies um, and it just made me think about some of these moving parts um, and how they, how they work. So the first thing that starts the system is what they call the flexi needle. Um, and what this is, is a needle that comes in three different lengths. I end up just using the large one for all my tying. Um, but there is an extra large one if you're tying bigger tubes and a smaller one for, for smaller tubes. But what you've got is, as you see, you've got a needle that's thick on the back end and skinnier on the front end, and it's flat on the back. And that back end is designed to slide in really into any vise, any vise that's got a good set of uh, jaws and good pressure, it's gonna fit in there and it, you know, that thing's not going anywhere. Um, and all the tubes from Pro Sport Fisher are designed to fit on this diameter right here. So the small needle is, is about this long and if you're tying really small tubes, it's kind of nice to have that um, little platform. But I kind of use this um, for everything and there's a couple different types of tubes that I use quite a bit. Um, the, the ones that I got started on are what they now call the 4040 tubes um, or the flexi tubes. And what this is, is it's, a, it's a, a tube that's skinny on the top and fat on the bottom. And we can show you at the end of the video um, about how we rig these flies. But the reason why these are nice is you'll use this skinny end to tie on and then you've got essentially two different widths of tubes so you can have that fat part hanging out of the fly your knot will come up and and stop right right at this connection point and that's a nice thing to have to have that stopping point for your knot um, on the end of the fly um, oftentimes i'll kind of cut that in half so you're left with a shorter section but but you've got a nice platform um, to tie on. So that's a, a pretty easy route to go in the beginning because you've got your tube and your junction in the same material. So that's the flexi tube um, or the 4040 and those are really nice. Um, a little bit more versatile option is these nano or what they call micro tubes, which is the same thing, just scaled down. And I really like these, and I'd say I tie on these most of the time. Um, and what they are, this is a micro tube here. What they are is a small section of tubing with this little buckle on the back. Um, and when we're tying flies, we'll start at the back and work our way forward, but that buckle allows us to use these pro tube hook guides um, which are cylindrical pieces of rubber that just cinch your hook or the knot that you're using um, to rig your tubes so the reason why they're more versatile is because you could buy one color of nano tube but three or four different colors of hook guides and then after you're done with your fly, you can choose if you want, you know, say you want a, an orange hot spot on the bottom of your fly. Some flies, you just want to have a black coming all the way through or you want pink or chartreuse. So that's a really, I think the reason why I feel gravitated towards these nano and micro tubes is that you've got that versatility of the coloring of the hook guide, which just allows you to, add bright spots towards the back of the fly um, and the nano tube is the same thing 
but they're a little bit longer. Um, so I'll slide. There's a nanotube and a microtube sits, you know, about, it's about three quarters as long or 60% as long. Um, so it's good to kind of, when you're looking online, it can be a little tough to see how long these things are, or how big they are, if they're going to work for what you're tying. Um, and the last form of tubes is the one that I tie on, I'd say the least, um, but they're classic tubes. And they come, we carry them in clear and black and a couple different colors of, of glittered tubes. Um, it's worth saying that the medium size classic tube is the most versatile. Um, it's the one that fits with all their beads and cones. But what a classic tube is, is kind of a, a bulk section of tubing that you would cut down to the length of fly that you're planning on tying. Um, like the 4040s, um, we just tied a fly here where the back section of this classic tube comes out the back of the fly. So when you're tying, you might not want to start all the way at the very back. You might want to leave a little section that's going to be like a hook guide. A um, couple benefits of the classic tube. They're the cheapest. Um, you get the most bang for your buck and you can cut them to any length that you want. You could cut you know, really short tubes or really long tubes depending on what you're looking for. So that's kind of the last type of tubing that we carry. Um, but another thing to think about on top of all these tubes is the type of weights that you can use. Um, and I'll just talk about the most popular types of weights and the ones that I use quite a bit. Um, the first one would be the Procone. Um, we carry it in the medium and the large size. But these cone heads are designed to fit on all these tubes. Um, and, you know, they just slide after you finish your fly. They can just slide right on top of it. Um, well, I have a little tube that we just tied here. But you can see that the diameter of these cones is designed to fit right on top of any fly you tie. Um, so that is a really versatile weighted option um, that's worth thinking about because it gives you the, the versatility to choose colors, choose different size of cone heads that you want. So the newest kid on the block as far as these weights is the Flexi Bead. I think these came out, um, might be two years ago now, um, but they offer them in five different colors. Um, and two different sizes. And both of those are designed to fit on all the tubes that we're talking about here. And they just give you the option um, to add a bead style weight to any of these flies, which is nice. Um, so I'll get this tube back on my needle here. And I'll just show you. You know, you can you can just finish a fly just like I've done here with a little head cement. And as long as your tube is long enough to seat it, you can just slide your bead right on the end of your fly. Um, and a nice versatile way to tie weighted and unweighted flies. But, you know, you don't need to rig a whole nother fly. You can just kind of slide a bead right on the top of your flies, which is nice. Um, and the last type of weights that are, I think, really cool are the drop weights. Um, and these are small, silver, rounded top weights. I'll show you what these look like. Um, unlike a cone that could, you know, cut feathers, these have a rounded um, top to them. So they're designed to go in the middle of flies, which is actually really cool. Um, so oftentimes I'll start a fly, maybe do a dubbing ball here, slide the raw weight, and then cut it off and do a station on top of it like we did with the Dude Where's My Cone. But you just have the option of doing that with a really nice rounded surface for that material to butt up against. 
Um, so those drop weights are really, really nice to have. And really for, for the stuff we sell, that's kind of the core of it is, you know, flexi tubes, nano tubes, um, micro tubes and classic tubes. So you got some differences in tubing options. Um, and then you just get all these cool options with different color beads, different color cones. And if you're looking to jump into it, um, the reason why I like them is because back in the day, you used to have to have a, a really specific attachment that fit in your vise that was, you know, 50 to 80 bucks. Um, and then the tubes was kind of like a, a jaunt to find all the different tubes that you might use. Today, if you want to get started, these flexi needles are 17 bucks. And then there's a starter kit um, with quite a few different weights and cones and different things for 25 bucks. So really, for the price of those two, two together, you're already um, often tying at what the price of a really specific attachment um, for a different tube system in your vise would be. So we wanted to give you this overview um, of these tube components and how they work together because we really feel like you know, tubes are just such a cool way to tie. They really save time and they're a fun thing to fish for sure. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in.